Hey guys, welcome to BitBoy Crypto. Today, I'm going to be talking about some things that I've learned with TA that I wanted to share with you guys. As you guys know, I've been reading a book about TA and uh, I've really learned a lot so far and I'm going to start practicing some of it on our video. So I want to show you guys some of those practices that I've learned and maybe a few that uh, maybe I've already invented. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get into it. But before we go any further, make sure you are a subscriber to our channel. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, the bell for notifications. If you do, you're in the BitSquad. As a member of the BitSquad, you have the opportunity to win $500 in merch and Ethereum for October and November. Comment and like on every video and you get the maximum number of entries. So first of all, before we get into this, it's very important, especially during this one, to understand that I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a professional TA guy. Um, I've just started this. This is my, you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, we're, we're going to get into some beginner stuff here. Um, so, uh, just keep that in mind. Always do your own research. Please don't take anything I say from this video as the truth. So, okay guys. So I have the Bitcoin chart here pulled up on Binance. This is the one hour chart, as you guys can see up here. And, uh, I'm basically going to like try to draw some lines and make some assumptions based on currently what the market is doing. Okay, so the first thing I've learned is to connect these green lines. So that's really hard to do to connect all of them. As you can see, like I could go here and then here and then here and then here. I have to jump over a few to get here, to get here. So as you can see, that makes like some kind of weird shapes. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is you want to draw from the top line all the way over to the last top line. So just go over everything and then there. So as you can see, it shows a bearish trend because this line goes over here and then it drops a little bit. So that's not what we want, guys. So what you got to do is you got to figure out a way to show the TA to be bullish so you can invest more money. So basically what you want to do is you want to draw a line through the last green candle here, sorry. Boom. So now I've drawn myself a resistance line and look, the green candles are on top of the resistance line. So that means if you can do that, now you can take more money and you can invest. So if you, if you want to invest, draw through the green line, okay? If you want to be a bear, then all you have to do is take your top green line, okay? And then just draw it straight across. Okay, now the green candles are under that line. So now you know it's not a good time to invest. But of course, remember, this is your TA. You make the rules. So here's actually another uh, trick that I learned by reading this TA book so far. It's called the over the candlestick. So basically, what you want to do, it's kind of like, I don't know if you've heard Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Now, this is how you show a super bullish trend, okay? You jump down real low to the bottom, and then really quickly, whoop, you go up. Now, boom. Now, if you follow that line, you'll see that there's a bearish trend, and now it's going straight up. So now that means also it's a great time to invest. You can't even see how high that yellow line goes. So um, now down here, this is called the volume. So what you want to do is you want to pump up this volume. You don't want it to actually look like this because as you can see here, the red candle, which is a bad candle for volume, that means there's a lot of bearish action. So we don't want that. We want there to be bullish action. So find some of your green candles and just draw them higher than the red candles. And now look at that. Look at look at this volume. It's 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 spiking. It's peaking. Look at it. Look at this volume. But it helps if you draw them all bigger than the one red one, you know. And if you want to show a super bearish trend, you would just do the opposite. You just draw the red ones up. But who likes bears? I don't like bears. I don't know. Do you like the Chicago Bears? I hate them too. So that's another thing you can do. And what's really cool? Another really cool thing that you can do. Is, um, is you can actually uh, draw designs on here, which I thought is another cool strategy. So, like, let's say you wanted to draw, I don't know, like a dinosaur, okay? You could have this here, this green candle, okay? And you can make this, okay, like the tail, and then this, the body, look at this, 
Okay, still drawing. Connect them. Connect them. And then this is the head. Okay, so now we gotta now we gotta draw the mouth. Ah, oh, it's an angry turtle dinosaur. Okay, then you come down here and you just gotta make feet. Okay, there's one foot. Okay, and we draw another one. Okay, now we gotta draw two more back here because it's not a T-Rex. This is like a Brontosaurus. So there we go. And then you come back up here and you connect it here, and then boom, you got yourself a dino. Who who needs bulls and bears? when you got a dino. Let me tell you this, a T-Rex would eat every single one of them. So I think that, uh, I think I'm on the right track. I, I don't think my TA is perfect. That's why I said, make sure you guys are not going by this TA right now. It's not perfect, but I'm making progress. I'm making moves. And I really thought that it would be cool to show you guys what I've learned so far. So if you guys have any suggestions or comments for me on maybe something you think I could do better, and don't comment on my dinosaur drawing. I mean, obviously, I'm working on becoming a better artist. Uh, before my crypto life on YouTube, I wasn't even creative at all. This all just, you know, this drawing and animating and graphic design, it's all new to me. So this is the best that I can do right now on the dinosaur. So I understand, like, maybe I could draw it, like, you know, give it some little, like, you know, whatever, the, like toenails or something might be good. I don't know. You guys make the judgment call on that. But that's all I got. Right now, while you guys are watching this video, remember, I'm in Las Vegas having a great time at World CryptoCon. Uh, I hope you guys are having a blast where you're at. Missing making my videos every day. Uh, I'll be back in a couple days to get back to the news. But uh, I know this is definitely going to be a much-needed break for me. And this is me in the past talking to me in the future. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Of course, this was only meant for comedy and parody purposes. This is not obviously real TA. Not financial advice. Until next time, BitBoy out.